The second release from Treasured Films, Satan's Little Helper, was a movie that someone said to me, you know what, you probably want to give this one a miss, Graham. I don't think you'll enjoy it. Um, I mean, directed by Jeff Lieberman, the man who did uh, Just Before Dawn and Squirm. That had my attention. It was a kind of weird horror movie. I... I couldn't resist. I had to pick it up and check it out for myself and discovered a movie that I actually enjoyed. We follow Dougie at the start here, a young man who is loving the game Satan's Little Helper. In fact, so much so that, gosh darn it, Satan's his hero. Can't get enough of the guy. He's just fantastic. In fact, he wants to dress up as a Satan's Little Helper for Halloween, which we are now on. We're gonna find Satan when we go trick-or-treating. We are? Let's see the costume. Oh, Zane's little helper, that's so cool. Uh, his sister is coming back from college. He can't wait, because they've got a great relationship. Uh, his uh, mother is played by Amanda Plummer, who is particularly great, um, as always. Um, when the sister turns back up at home, bringing with her boyfriend, Alex, Ducky's perturbed. His uh, relationship with his sister is all out of place because she now has someone else that she's a little bit more interested with. So Dougie goes out the streets just to hang about and, and bumps into some person in a suit that is dragging a dead body uh, along a lawn. Uh, this is a real dead body, they're positioning it like some kind of Halloween uh, kind of display and Dougie's like, are you Satan? Can I be your helper? So, Master, next, could we send my sister's new boyfriend, Alex, down to help? And these two people go along on a kind of journey with Dougie, not quite realising that this person is brutally murdering people every chance he gets. In fact, he takes him home uh, where he causes some real shenanigans as well. There is a lot of things that don't quite uh, hit the mark for me in Satan's Little Helper. But I still kind of enjoy the fair whack of it because um, it, it looks as if it's kind of low budget. It looks as if it's almost shot for TV. It's overly bright. It's not the greatest. It doesn't offer much in the form of surprises. But I've got a feeling there's a, a black line of humour running through this one that made it me chuckle just a little bit too much at certain points. Pregnant lady! Oh, cool! Yeah! 50 points! Yeah! Watch this young man traipse around after this horrific person helping to do things because of the influence of video games. Video games has made this young boy such a, a horrific person that he's willing to help Satan kill lots of people not realising what's actually happening. It's bad taste, it's over the top, it's incredibly silly and it doesn't really give you uh, any kind of answers at the end of it, which I think is very fitting. I, I don't know if I really wanted many answers in this one, but it just is it, lacking on, say, budget or, or ideas. It, it takes a simple uh, premise and expands it into 100 minutes. It's fun. It's silly. I think it's a, a comedy, um, which I did laugh at several times. I thought the uh, Dougie, the, the young boy, was terrific in this one. I thought he's having a great deal of fun. Amanda Plummer is, is, is great. Um, almost wasted, uh, to be honest, because she's just such a great actress. I wanted more of her. We don't get as much. And I love the kind of mime nature of the killer who never speaks. Listen, I love that mask. Whose face we never see. It doesn't matter. They're just a bloody murderer, hell bent on causing as much chaos as they can on Halloween. I think this is something that's probably going to fall into my Halloween watch list every year. I'll throw it on. It's carefree, it's easy to watch, entertaining, fun. It doesn't take itself too seriously. And I can appreciate all that. In a world where a lot of things are, are trying to put over messages, they're trying to cram too much into the film, this just is what it is. And what it is, is fun. And I can go with that. I enjoyed Satan's Little Helper. Let's dive into this uh, disc and see what extras there are. 
Here we are in the disc for Satan's Little Helper. Let's go to the extras. First up, we have a commentary from director Jeff Lieberman. A second commentary from The Hysteria Continues. We have Behind the Scenes, which is 4 minutes 56, um, which has them kind of filming some scenes and uh, there's a little bit of a commentary over it, which is rather good. Next up, Behind the Mask, is 14 minutes 40. We have Jason Tilson, who is talking about Jeff Lieberman, the director, about his films, how he made such an impact in horror, um, and his return to the director's chair for Satan's Little Helper. Next up, we have Home Invasion, which is 48 minutes 3 seconds, which is great. It is, again, Jason Tilson having an online chat with the director, Jeff Lieberman, um, about Satan's Little Helper, amongst some of his other material that he has worked on. And it's uh, a really fun and easy, as well as informative extra. We also have the trailer, which is 1 minute 54, and the image gallery. And that's the extras for Satan's Little Helper. There we have it. Number two on the uh, Film Treasures range, Satan's Little Helper, which, uh, yeah, I think was pretty good. Pretty fun. I was uh, pleased with this one. Surprisingly so, considering the negative word of mouth I'd heard. I think it's worth giving it a shot, at the very least. I would love to know your thoughts on Satan's Little Helper, whether you loved it, hated it, or feel somewhere in the middle. It's always good to get other opinions, so there is a little choice to pick here in this one uh, it's not just all my positive review if you've got something positive to say or negative to say drop it in the comments as always there's more content up here if you want to see any more of my stuff in the description box below are links to the patreon membership program and manvfilm.com always in which you can support me thanks for watching and i'll see you next time